today we're going to work on making our very own cell phone amplifier. It's going to work kind of like a speaker and make the noise louder on your phone. So you're going to get a piece of clay and you also need a cloth. Your cloth will be a little smaller. We're going to take a rolling pin of one type or another and in an organized fashion with no caveman action, we're going to take the clay and kind of beat it down so it's a little smaller. little less thick. Once you do that, we need to roll it like cookies. So you have to stand up and apply some pressure to your clay. We're trying to roll it so it's about a quarter of an inch thick and a quarter inch and a half inch. We do not want it to be flat as a pancake. Once you have it rolled out, so it's a little bit thinner, you need a wire loop tool and you also need a cup. On the longest part of your clay, you're going to make marks that are three to four inches apart. If you need to, lay your hand on the clay by your first mark. Make your second mark on the opposite side. And then we gently slice. So this is our first slab. This is called slab construction. Then out of what's left, the thickest part is where you're going to put your cup. Just gently press down. We're using it as a stencil, not a cookie cutter. And we cut out our circle. No panicking if it's not perfect. All right, part of your leftovers you keep. Part of your leftovers go to me. Then we take your base and we take your slab that you sliced and this goes on top of your base, not around it. I'm also going to slice this to even it out. Now when you're adding this on, you get to think about what creature you're going to make for your amplifier. So if you wanted it to be even, you just wrap it evenly so your circle is the same width here as it is down there. If you want it to be more of a cone shape, you can do that. We just overlap it a little differently so it's spread out a little farther. And then slice off extra. Your next mission is to take your finger and smooth those edges together all the way around. And we're also smoothing on this side. It's helpful to put a hand on the inside for support and then smooth those edges over with your finger. Now that all my outside edges have been smooth, my next mission is take my finger, stick it on the inside, make sure I'm providing support on the outside. And I'm trying to smooth over that edge. And if your finger is not long enough, you could always grab a wooden clay tool, just stick it in there, and it'll do the same job. And I can smooth the upper edge. This is as far as we want to get on our first day. 